folks, uh, it's Eric from Robin Country. Uh, if you haven't figured out by the video, we're going to finish it. You guys stay tuned. to do that and of course all the filming I do is by myself we are here at a little pond um, pretty close to my house uh, it's not a great big pond and uh, the good thing is today I get to start fishing in videos again uh, so you guys stay tuned we're gonna get all rigged up we're gonna see if we can't uh, snag into a little something can't guarantee it we got a little bit of bluebird skies one on the temperature's right we got a little bit of rain you can tell it's summer because the pool is packed so you guys stay tuned we'll get set up get rigged up and see what we can do all right guys what we're going to do today is uh we're going to start with a little drop shot. What we're going to throw is a little uh, six inch morning dawn rib worm. Start with a little drop shot, see what's out there, see what we can do. Buddy of mine just went by and proof. Shoot the tax real quick. Okay, well, as you can tell, I'm back in the truck. Uh, this little pond was an absolute bust. I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me on this one. But what we're going to do, man, I'm blown out, you know. But what we're going to do is. So we're going to drive back up the road and head over into a little town. They've got a beautiful park and they have two lakes. One smaller, uh, about the size of this one, maybe a little bit smaller. And then they have the large one. And uh, we're going to head over there and see if we can do any good over there. So you guys hang with me. I'm hoping I can get a fish on the video 
for you to see. Well, oh, hang on. sorry about that. Well, we have made it to the, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you where I'm at. And it's called Barbersville, West Virginia. Um, we are right off of I-64 going through West Virginia. And the, the town of Barbersville itself is pretty small. Um, I would say that probably the town is about the size of the park. Um, we're going to try to do a little fish in this little pond right here. And if that doesn't pan out to be anything, what I will probably do is give you guys a tour of this absolutely gorgeous park. Uh, when I get out and get everything rigged up, I'll kind of give you a little look around here where I'm at now. And uh, then before I leave, We'll drive up on top of the park. We can look down, and I'll take you over and show you the main the main lake and the things that they have here. So, let's get out here. Let's get these fishing rods off this truck. Get them out here in the water. See if we can't catch us something on the end of that line. You guys, hang out. See what we can do. Okay, like I told you guys, I'll give you guys a little tour. Sorry about the wind. I need to get a, a dead cat or something for this wind. This road here takes you on the overlook of the park and they have gated it off. For what reason, I don't know, but you used to be able to drive back here and there's a nice little parking area back here. So let's just drive down to the main lake and we'll show you. Stay tuned. All right, this is kind of overlooking uh, where I was fishing at a minute ago. And let's see, over in there's the ball fields. Down there is the, uh, the little pond. And you can just see from up here just how gorgeous this place is. So uh, we're going to move on down to the main part of the lake. All right, see if we can do it this way. Sorry about the video. So now we're driving into the uh, the main park. You can see the, the ball fields over there. And it's bottom. Bear with me here. Okay. Now they've always have staff out here. And over there, they actually have a rodeo arena. They have a rodeo here. I think every Saturday, I think. I don't know, maybe you guys enjoy this more than the fishing video. You never know. They, uh, they put in a splash park here a year or two ago, and I think they're supposed to be putting in a pool. I'll show you a little splash park for you. A nice little splash park there for the kids. And I'll get out once I get up to the main lake, I'll get out and walk around a little bit and let you guys see some cool stuff that's here. Now we're coming into the main park where the main lake is. And it's a it's a pretty good sized lake. Let me get over here and I'll get parked and we'll get out and take a look around. Okay, now we're going to walk around a little bit. The first thing I want to bring you guys to um, is a monument that was put here um, for the, the veterans' families. Um, Herschel Woody Williams, a World War II um, 
Medal of Honor recipient, his foundation uh, does this. Uh, so I'll give you guys a tour of that. That's a very special thing. I've got a video on here, and I'll link you to it down below, of the dedication of this monument. So now we'll uh, go ahead and take a look around here at the park. Okay, here's the monument. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's dedicated to the Gold Star families. Start over here. As you guys can tell in the video, I mean, this park is absolutely gorgeous. I want to untuck my shirt here. I am uh, carrying, so I don't want anybody to kind of flip out. So. But to give you a little backstory on Woody, and I'll show you a, a picture of him here in a minute. Um, he was in World War II. He saved his whole unit uh, with a flamethrower going after the, uh, the pillboxes by himself. I'll we'll walk up here and I'll get you, let you all see him. That is Herschel Woody Williams. Medal of Honor recipient. Did you give up fishing? Yeah. yeah. I'm those. No. A little too warm, too much sun. Yep. That's right. Beautiful day. It's awesome. Glad to see him fishing. This monument, monument is absolutely gorgeous. So, okay. Now, here's the park. Now, like I said, Barbersville is probably about the uh, size of the park. If not, the park's bigger. They've got, they have playgrounds out here for the kids. Um, back up around the hill. So I can zoom in a little bit here. Now they have frisbee golf all through here. Uh, in this lake, uh, they stock trout, uh, bass, catfish, bluegill, crappie. Uh, harp, all kinds of stuff. Now uh, they have picnic shelters out here. Got the duckies. Thought she's trying to make her a nest there. So I'm not gonna bother the fishies or the fishies, the ducks. So let's walk on around here. I'm sure you guys would rather see this stuff than look at me. I love when you're walking around the camera, talking to your camera. People look at you like you're weird. One thing about the area that I live in, and yes, I do live here, is they try to take care of everyone. And the handicap 
and special needs like to fish just as much as we do. So, this lake is handicapped accessible. We'll walk down here. As you can tell, it's got a ramp. Put in the table. Come right out here. Do some fishing. You have two beautiful fountains out here in it. back in just a second all right well I think here is a good place as any to uh, finish up this little video for the day when I started my channel a couple years ago I wanted to show everybody that uh, no matter what your budget is um, no matter where you live you don't need a boat you don't need a kayak just get get you some fishing rods from the local big box store some tackle things like that and uh, just come out to a park like this I mean if you bring your children out they have play areas uh, they have you know all the swings and everything out here tennis courts basketball courts you've seen the splash park you know the, the thing that I'm trying to do is get the families out of the house off the internet off the game consoles and out here with nature in this glorious beautiful beautiful area um, today I've really enjoyed myself um, of course you guys know I'm still dealing with the old bum arm but man any chance you get to come out and just enjoy nature do it um, you know, I didn't catch any fish today, so I still got to enjoy the day. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and uh, it's the first time you've seen it, hit that subscribe button down there. It helps out tremendously. Um, it keeps me going, lets me know I've got people that's watching the videos. And uh, in closing, just get out and enjoy the nature. God is good. He has gave us some absolutely beautiful, beautiful land. And in the United States, it's the only place that I know that you can do this. So uh, we do live in a, a, a very, very fortunate country. So you guys take care. Until the next time, I'm Eric with Rod and Country. You guys stay safe. You guys stay safe. Get the kids out and do some fishing, and we'll see you next time on Rod and Country. Take care.